So this video is about the equations of tangents and normals. Uh, and you might get a question where you're given an equation and you need to find the, the tangent at a point or the normal at a point. Now I'm going to draw a picture of that first. So let's imagine an equation. So you can see this is our equation. It looks like some sort of sine curve. Um, now you might get asked, find the tangent at x equals 5. All right, so I'm going to just say that this is x equals 5. So this is some sort of funky sine curve. Uh, now if that's x equals 5. What I'm trying to find is a straight line that just touches this function at that point and heads off there. Okay, so to do that, I need to know two things. I need to know the coordinates of that point, so 5 something, but I also need to know the gradient at that point, um, I guess m. I need to know the gradient of that point, because the gradient of that point of the blue function is going to be equal to the gradient of our tangent. Now, that's tangents. If we're trying to find a normal, the normal has a 90 degree, makes a 90 degree angle uh, with the tangent. So that's the normal. Okay, so we're going to deal with tangents, we're going to deal with normals. Uh, let's do a proper question. I'm going to get rid of that starting here. So here's my question. Find the equation of the tangent to y equals sine 2x at x equals pi on 8. So a little drawing. Sine 2x looks something like this. Whee! And now we're trying to find the tangent at pi on 8. Now I'm just going to make it up. Uh, uh, pi on 8, I'm just going to pretend pi on 8's there. I have no idea where pi on 8 is. I need to know the point. I need to know pi on 8 something. I don't know what the y-coordinate is. So my first step here is going to be to find the y-coordinate. Find the y-coordinate. And I'm just, just like I would in anything else, I just need to sub that x value into my equation. So sub x equals pi on 8 into um, the equation y. So y equals sine 2 times pi on 8. Alright, so 2 times pi on 8, that's 2 pi on 8, which simplifies to pi on 4. y equals sine uh, 2, uh, sorry, pi on 4. Okay, now if you don't have a calculator, you should still be able to solve that. You draw yourself your little standard triangle, pi on 4, 1, 1, root 2. So sine pi on 4 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Y equals 1 on root 2. Uh, that's also got another version, or we can, which is also equal to um, root 2 on 2. So we can use either of those values. Um, that means that I now have a y coordinate. So in big drawing here, I can say that I now know that that point is pi on 8, boom, bracket, uh, 1 on root 2. Alright, so uh, I'm pretty good at the moment. I've got a y coordinate. I'm trying to find the tangent. What I don't know is the gradient of the tangent. And to do that, I'm going to have to find the derivative. So here I am finding the derivative. Uh, y dash equals the derivative of sine is positive, cos, cos. Um, that function's going to stay there, 2x. But I also need to take the derivative of the thing in brackets and put it out the front. So, y dash is 2 cos 2x. So that's kind of my next step in finding the tangent. Um, I need to know the gradient. So, to find the gradient at pi on 8, I sub pi on 8 into y dash. Um, and I'm doing that to find the gradient. at that particular point. All right, so we've got y dash equals 2 cos 2 times pi on 8. Okay, this looks very, very similar to that work there. This was finding the y coordinate because I subbed it into the original function. This is finding the gradient because I'm subbing into the gradient function. All right, so it's uh, 2 times cos pi on 4. Now, again, you should be able to draw like a standard triangle, pi on 4. Uh, cos of pi on 4 is adjacent over hypotenuse. 1 on root 2. Ooh, hello. 
So, it's 2 times 1 on root 2, which is 2 over root 2. Um, that'll do me for now. That's my gradient. Okay, so what have I done? I found a point, pi on 8, 1 on root 2, and now I know the gradient of that line is going to be, uh, so the gradient equals 2 on root 2. Okay, uh, last step, I need to find the equation of that tangent. Alright, so I'm going to find the equation of the tangent. Now, the tangent is a straight line, so it has a function y equals mx plus c. Now, I know the gradient is 2 on root 2. So, m is the gradient, 2 on root 2. Now, I know that the y coordinate is 1 on root 2. And I know that the x coordinate is pi on 8. And now I just need to find out what the c value is. If I know what the c value is, I can, um, I can finish this whole thing. All right, so what do I have? I have um, 1 on root 2 equals 2 pi on 8 root 2 plus c. Um, and then I can subtract one from the other. Uh, I'm going to be, so I'm just going to write that in there. 1 on root 2 minus 2 pi on 8 root 2. And I'll get a C value there. So I'm getting a C value of um, 0 0.1517. You could have added those fractions, subtracted those fractions together and got like an exact answer. But that's my decimal approximation. I am now at the end of this question. I am finding the tangent at, of that function at x equals pi on 8. My answer is y equals the gradient, which is 2 on root 2, times x plus 0 0.1517. All right. Just a small point before I move on here. You'll notice this equation here has a positive gradient, but my like little drawing here had a negative gradient. That's just because I had no idea where the points were. Uh, that was just sort of a visual reference for me. Um, so now that I know a little bit more about what that equation looks like, that's probably more like what the tangent actually looked like heading in an upwards direction. Um, okay, equations of tangents. I've nailed that so far. I just need to finish off equations of normals. Now, all of the working you're looking like looking at, so if I was to change this question to equations of normals, find the equation of the normal to this function, um, it's very, very similar work. So, all of this remains the same. If I'm told x equals pi on 8, I've still got to do all of that work. Um, if I want to find the gradient of my normal, because remember my normal if I use my original, a normal goes off on a right hand, right angle. Okay, I still need to find the gradient of the tangent. So I still need to do all of this blue work down to here. Now, there's a final new, let's add a new step in. So find normal gradient. Now, if I want to find the normal gradient, I need to take the negative reciprocal of the tangent gradient. So what does that mean? Whatever the tangent gradient is, I need to take the, the, um, I need to take the fraction, I need to flip it over, and then I need to change the sign. So the normal gradient, it's just like one line of working here. I'm going to flip this upside down, so now it's root 2 over 2, and then I'm going to change the sign. It was positive, not anymore, it's negative. Okay. So that's a new bit of working if I'm trying to find the normal. Now, obviously, that is going to change some of this. What's it going to change specifically? Well, I'm still finding the equation of a normal now. Um, y equals mx plus c. The y coordinate stays the same, the x coordinate stays the same, but the gradient changes from 2 root 2 
to root 2 on 2 negative, because that was my normal gradient there. Um, what does that change? Well, that thing now becomes negative, and that becomes positive, and that number becomes something else. I had to change a couple more numbers here. This multiply that makes that. Move that to that side, we get this. And now we get a new number, 0 0.429. Uh, now, this was the equation of our tangent here. And the equation of our normal is y equals our new normal gradient, which is negative root 2 on 2, um, x plus our new c value, which is 0 0.429. Okay, lots of lots of work here, but you can see that it boils down to a couple of bits. I found a y coordinate, I found the derivative, which allowed me to find the gradient, and then I found the equation by using y equals mx plus c. That's the same for tangents and normals. Normals just has this extra little bit where you do a negative reciprocal.